Hello, happy Friday, and welcome back to another Talking Freight, the weekly freight and transportation management series brought to you by Saracis, your friendly transportation management company. Each week, we look to bring you tips, thoughts, best practices, and trends around freight and transportation management. And today, we continue our LTL shipping series by talking about the factors you must consider when it comes to LTL shipping rates that are a little bit beyond just the price you see. Understanding how less than truckload, referred to as LTL, freight shipping rates are calculated is critical to surviving and thriving in logistics. Throughout the industry, overall freight shipping rates are increasing, which includes LTL. LTL carriers are experiencing an unprecedented demand for their services and more businesses are starting to realize the cost savings of using LTL shipments through various shipping strategies now that we have a full-on truckload capacity crunch crisis. However, rather than blindly paying the LTL rate you see, you need to know what affects LTL shipping rates beyond that price you see and how you can leverage this information to secure the best possible rate and long-term pricing for all of your LTL shipments. So let's talk some LTL shipping rates. First, let's address that pricing modes in LTL, they're changing. Dimensional pricing is replacing the old and ticketed freight classification system. More LTL carriers have taken the initiative to install equipment that can scan a palletized shipment and determine immediate dimensional pricing for their respective shipment. Since a pallet compresses space by nature, dimensional pricing may be much cheaper when used in an LTL scenario. As the push towards the full utilization of dimensional pricing in LTL increases, the cost of LTL shipping will increase concurrently. Ultimately, shippers will be more inclined to compress packages as much as possible to get the best shipping rate. And for some, LTL total cost will be lower than they would have been without the original motivation to embrace dimensional pricing. The second factor to consider is that LTL space, it's scarce. The rise of e-commerce logistics has provided the space to create whole businesses with relatively little investment. These pure play online retailers as they are known. These pure play online retailers and other businesses on the internet do not routinely have the capital to invest in full truckload shipments. Yet, the small organization has enough capital to maybe do more parcel or small package shipping. Carriers increasingly have very little to no capacity for LTL shipments as e-commerce, among many other factors, is creating an overall capacity crisis. Want to know more about the current capacity crunch? Click this info bubble above my head to see our capacity crunch series that we've already done. As a result of the capacity crunch, bidding wars to secure contractual rates have erupted across the country. In general, most LTL providers have been able to achieve an increase in the contractual rate of around three to four percentile. The third factor con to consider in LTL shipping rates to know is that customers demand speed. The time of waiting for weeks for a package, those are long gone, and consumers want their products yesterday. Less than truckload shipping offers a much faster delivery schedule than full truckloads. In a small package scenario or parcel shipment, each item results in an additional stop and delay. Yes, full truckload requires the sorting and processing of individual orders after the shipment has been sent from location A to location B. According to Loretta Chow of the Wall Street Journal, customers are willing to pay an average of 15% more for faster shipping. Combining this with the average increase in contractual shipping rates, shippers still stand to make a profit after paying extra costs to LTL, ship LTL shipping providers. Basically, distance determines speed, and speed can be available through LTL and is a factor you should look at. The fourth factor to consider is that drivers want better compensation. We have discussed the driver, driver shortage in detail, but have you thought about how the driver shortage impacts specific modes of transportation? Drivers do not want to spend all day on the road, but they do expect to earn a living wage that is competitive with what other industries pay per truck in addition to a strain on the LTL shipping available, the number of drivers is less than suitable. Therefore, a shipper must be willing to pay more to access LTL rates in a strained environment. Now, I have a surprise. Two bonus factors. 
that are lesser known. Let's address two forgotten factors to consider in LTL pricing, with the first being the Amazon standard. The rise of Amazon Prime in two-day and same-day shipping are fundamental reasons for the surge in less than truckload rates. As more companies try to meet or beat Amazon's record, LTL shipping rates are likely to increase further. Unfortunately, this creates a state of panic across the industry. And for shippers, it can be a catalyst for working to find out if LTL shipping is actually worth the cost. However, risk plays a role as well. And that brings us to the last consideration for LTL shipping rates, lower risk. Risk is the most forgotten aspect of LTL shipping, and it is playing a major role in the rise of shipping rates. Less than truckload shipments have inherently lower risk of damage and errors than any other form of shipping. The shipments are not too large to risk complete ruin if a problem occurs, but the shipments are not so small that the time constraints on delivery would make it impractical to compete with Amazon-esque timeframes. Additionally, the cost of risk is a tangible aspect of shipping. If a shipment has less risk, insurance rates and deductibles are lower. As a result, small to medium businesses can leverage how risk impacts all of the aforementioned factors to create a dynamic, cost-effective means of getting products from point A to point B and to the end user as quickly as possible. In conclusion, leveraging the power of knowledge will allow you to better understand all of the factors and costs that go into LTL shipping. Less than truckload shipping rates might seem like they are becoming overly expensive. In reality, the, ri the uh, rise and raise are being caused by several factors. And these factors are creating the perfect storm for shippers. They are driving rates up, encouraging customers to pay more for shipping, and improve customer satisfaction rates all at the same time. Rather than focusing on the negative parts of an increase in any LTL shipping rates, you need to understand how these factors go alongside the rate you see that the carrier provides. This consideration will only lead to one conclusion. LTL shipping is the most cost-effective form of shipping for a rapid delivery when the shipment is too small or too large for other forms of shipping. LTL is just right for the cost. If only we had that bear available for Little Red Riding Hood, just right. Well, that was my attempt for a joke this week. Not sure it hit, but anyway, that's it for this week's Talking Freight. Thanks for joining us on another episode. Have any questions around LTL that we can answer? We are the LTL experts. In fact, we focused on that mode 20 years ago when we launched our web-based transportation management system, the Saracis Raider. So if you have those questions, put them in the comments section below here in the video. We'll go ahead and answer them. As always, don't forget to like us here on social media as well. We're constantly sharing info from experts in our industry. Lastly, if you'd like to get our videos and blogs emailed to you, visit us at saracis.com and enter your email address in the box towards the bottom of the page. We'll email you every time we produce a new piece of content. Now, just to set your expectations, if you do sign up, we do put out a new industry article Monday through Friday and send that to people who subscribe to our newsletter. We have a podcast coming out each week now called the Freight Project Podcast. And of course, we send you every Saturday via email our newest episode of Talking Freight. But hey, you don't want to wait till Saturday to get that email for Talking Freight? If you hit subscribe, you'll go ahead and subscribe to our channel. But even better, hit the little bell notification. That's a little icon that you see after you hit subscribe. You'll get a notification on your YouTube app on your phone or an email to your email account for your YouTube account whenever we publish each morning, every Friday. So thank you again for joining us here on Talking Freight. We'll see you next week. Have a great weekend.